Dodoma is a fast-growing city in Tanzania in terms of its population, its economy, agricultural sector, infrastructure, and business activities. Dodoma is the capital city of Tanzania. This results in it having massive movement of people in and out the city for governmental issues, hospitals, businesses, and universities. Transportation challenges at a growing city with a growing population could hinder development activities. It's because of this that the government has put in plan to solve the issue beforehand by constructing a commuter train in Dodoma. So as to connect the whole of Dodoma, the railway construction proposal will have three phases. The first phase will cover 104.6 kilometers, the second phase will cover 76.7 kilometers, and a third phase. The first phase will involve three railway lines that will pass at the city center and connect to the major public service centers. The first railway line runs from east to west starting from Nala to Buigiri. The line runs parallel with Morogoro Road all the way to Singida Road. It will have a total length of 52.9 kilometers and 41 passenger stations. It will cover areas as government city, Nane Nane Ground, Dugai Market, Dodoma Bus Terminal, CBE University, the Parliament, City Council Offices, and the Regional Hospital. The second line runs from north to south starting from Veyula to Mkonze. It goes parallel with Arusha Road and all the way to Iringa Road. It will have a total length of 28.6 kilometers and 23 passenger stations. It will cover areas as the new Salato International Airport, the Institute of Rural Development Planning, Dodoma Airport, the Dodoma Machinga Complex, MGR Station, St. John University, and the SGR Passenger Station. The third line is part of the inner circle. It will start from Government City to Dodoma University. It will have a total length of 23.1 kilometers and 18 passenger station. This will cover areas such as the Dry Port and the Marshall Yard. Dodoma City is estimated to have a population of about 3 million by the year 2050. Given the estimated growing population, it is also estimated that there will be an increase in the use of public transport of about 160,000 per day by year 2030 and more than 480,000 by year 2050. The East-West Railway Line is estimated to have more trips per day being 380,000 by the year 2060, whereas the Outer Circle is estimated to have fewer trips of about 180,000 per day. The estimation of growing number of trips has led to the proposal of using a rolling stock that is capable of carrying 440 passengers with a maximum speed of 100 km per hour to meet the demand needed. The number of necessary fleet of rolling stock needed by the year 2060 will be 29 for east-west line, 11 for the west-south line, and 8 for the circular line. The proposed project will have two types of passenger stations. They will be at grade stations and elevated stations. The Dodoma station that is located at Kikuyu will specifically be to facilitate movement of passengers between the commuter train and the SGR.
The proposed project has two different junctions. The first junction is between the east-west railway line and the north-south railway line. The junction will be near the main MGR station. The railway lines under these junctions do not connect, whereas the north-south line passes over the east-west railway line. Passengers can use the skywalk to move from elevated station to at grade station and vice versa. The second junction is at Hiuhumwa, near Government City. The junction is between East-West Railway Line that passes under the inner circle. Passengers can use the Skywalk to move from elevated station to at grade station and vice versa. In this second junction, the railway lines are connected. Hence, trains can move from one line to another. In the first phase, two depots are proposed. The first depot is along East-West Railway Line, near Nalaway Bridge. The second depot is located at Veyula on North-South Railway Line. Major activities that will be carried out at the depot will be light and heavy maintenance and parking. The proposed project has considered other infrastructure to avoid interference. The north-south railway line crosses the roundabout near the airport and goes all the way between Jamhuri Stadium and Gaddafi Mosque. So to avoid an interference, the line shall pass through a tunnel under the roundabout. The alignment will mainly follow on turned roads corridors. To avoid interference with the vehicles, the line will pass on a viaduct.
the first phase of the commuter train will cross path with SGR two times. To avoid interference with SGR, the commuter train will pass over a bridge. To enter the main road, the vehicles will pass through a detour road and cross the railway under the bridge. Another way, the vehicles may access the main road through road under bridges. The completion of the proposed project will facilitate the growth of Tanzania's economy, provide employment and most of all, it will develop its infrastructure at a global level.